In this video, shared by Dr. Daniel Lozada from Sao Paulo, Brazil, we will discuss the surgical management of a case of ocular trauma with intraocular foreign body. This is the case of a patient who suffered penetrating trauma to their right eye with a metallic intraocular foreign body. We can observe corneal laceration and traumatic cataract, with corneal suturing performed initially. The main and accessory corneal incisions are made simultaneously. Tripan blue is used to stain the anterior capsule of the lens and facilitate identification of the entry point of the foreign body, where we will initiate capsulorexis. Capsulorexis must be performed cautiously in these cases to ensure good support for intraocular lens implantation. After completing capsulorexis, hydrodelineation alone is performed since hydrodissection of the nucleus should be avoided due to the presence of posterior capsule rupture. Phacoemulsification of the nucleus is then carried out, followed by corical aspiration. Trocars are positioned and a posterior capsulotomy is performed with the vitrector. Upon entering the eye, we can observe that the intraocular foreign body is fortunately positioned in the lower part of the retina. Triamcinolone is used and posterior vitreous detachment is then performed. As it is a beveled metallic foreign body, we use two retina forceps to handle it very carefully to avoid any iatrogenic injury to the retina. One forceps serves as support while the serrated forceps grasp the foreign body firmly. Subsequently, the intraocular foreign body is positioned over the iris and it is extracted from the eye through the main corneal incision. Vitreous base shaving is performed and then a three-piece intraocular lens is positioned in the ciliary sulcus. Laser photocoagulation is performed in the inferior retina region and at the end of the surgery, the vitreous cavity is filled with air. We observe a good late postoperative result with complete visual recovery.